Hello friends, Adam here with FED. Armor Knights have long been considered one of the worst unit types in the history of the series, but things started to change right around here. So what did fates change to make Armor Knights better? And what did Three Houses do to continue the trend? To understand that, we need to look at what made them less good in the past. The first Armor Knight in the series was Drog. He was supposed to have high HP and defense, making for a tank that was good for choking points and absorbing damage for other units. His biggest flaw, and the issue that pervades the class line in the series, is a measly 5 move. Which is tied for the second lowest in the game, only the big tank-like Ballista have a lower move with 4. Most will cite this move issue as an Armor Knight's number one flaw. And this flaw is only exacerbated by large maps with the simple seize objective. The whole goal is to get from point A to point B and slower move units just fall behind cavalry and other foot soldiers. So what has the series done to help solve this move flaw? More varied objectives is the first thing that comes to mind. Route, defense, survive, these all take the emphasis off of movement and place it on other stats. Movement's still important, but when made well, defend and the survive maps especially put the emphasis less on map traversal and more on meeting stat benchmarks in defense, HP, and, and other stats. So, let's take a look at the first defend map in the series and see what it did for Armor Knights. Thracia 776 had this, chapter 14. And look at this map, choke points, tons of enemies flooding towards you, a single point to defend. This looks like an Armor Knights dream map. So little movement was required and big defenses are appreciated. Sadly, there is still a problem here. Thracia stats are really low. With a hard cap of 20 on all stats aside from HP, your Armor Knight's slightly higher defense doesn't really make that much of a difference, especially with how the enemy units tend to be on the weaker side than Thracia. So, even with more varied map objectives, Armor Knights still need a little more help in being good. This is where Fates comes in. Fire Emblem Fates did a lot to make Armor Knights stand out. Wary Fighter, a skill that prevents double attacks, was a great first step in making them feel unique. It gave them a great niche in handling really fast enemies. On top of that, the enemy quality, especially in Conquest, is really high compared to any of the previous games, barring super high difficulties like Lunatic Plus, Lunatic Reverse, and, and Hard 5. This combined with more varied objectives made Armor Knights incredibly useful. In the early game of Conquest, one of the best units in your army is Effie, a slow but strong and tanky Armor Knight. And most recently, we have Three Houses, which gave us the absolutely soul-crushing maddening difficulty. A difficulty that many of us have struggled with. Enemies have incredibly high stats, and more often than not, they outpace your own units. In many cases, the only way to keep up is to specialize to an extreme. And guess what Armor Knights are really good at? Specializing in high defense and HP. Essentially, Armor Knights get better the stronger the enemy is. Titles with weak enemies make Armor Knights high defense feel like overkill. Think of the GBA games, or FE4, or FE5, or even Path of Radiance. These games have such weak enemies that your Armor Knights overkill defense isn't that important. Paladins, Wyvern Lords, and even dodge tanks like Swordmasters and Assassins are just as effective enemy face survivors as Armor Knights in these titles. So, yeah, I'm sort of tired of the narrative that Armor Knights are just bad in Fire Emblem, and this was a, it especially like prevalent in the early days of Three Houses. Myself included, I was a part of it, but I've since changed my tune. Armor Knights, Three Houses, and Fates, pretty sick. They're actually pretty good. You should give them a shot. So next time you play Three Houses, especially on Maddening, try using a Fortress Knight or two. You might be surprised by how easy they can make certain scenarios that otherwise are quite painful. Anyways, thanks for watching, friends. Please subscribe if you haven't. I mean, that'd be, be pretty nice. If you made it this far in the video, I'm assuming you at least kind of enjoyed it, so subscribing would be pretty cool. Also, like the video. Helps other people find it. And please comment your thoughts. What do you think of Armor Knights? Do you think what uh, my, my, my whole theory on this is correct that really comes down to enemy quality? Or do you think there's something more to it? What makes Armor Knights fun to use and what makes them good? Again, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time.